<sighs> it is Sunday, fun day, finally. This past couple weeks have been so busy for me. Literally, like yesterday, you know, I, I had intended to like really grab the weekend by the horns, get a lot done around the house, out and about, run some errands. And then I realized like, I've had such a busy couple of weeks. I didn't mind doing anything. I literally stayed in the house in my pajamas all day. <laughs> Super embarrassing. I didn't really get ready for the day until like 5 p.m. and we went out to get like dinner and, and run some errands. But I have a cute little haul for you guys and we're gonna switch bags and it's just gonna be a really fun day. And then I'll tell you guys what we're gonna do today because I'm super excited. Like I'm low key kind of geeking out a little bit, a little bit. What, what do I have to show you guys? So first off, hello, new hat. So this is just like a corduroy hat and like a nice Bordeaux burgundy color. And I thought it was like really perfect because I've been looking for like a good, logo-less hat for a very long time. Like I was like close to like spending like uh, 150 for a cashmere hat and I'm like, ugh, it's a lot of money for a hat. I'm definitely not spending 550, $800 for a cashmere hat. And when I saw this last night at Target on sale for only $7.49 or something insane, I was like, duh, put it in cart. So it's kind of inspired my outfit today. Like I'm gonna go for like a whole like kind of like preppy chill vibe today. So we're gonna switch bags. We also stopped at Half Price and I haven't had a Half Price haul this good in a very long time. So for those of you who know, um, over Christmas vacation, I took a couple weeks off for Christmas, we binge watched Heartstopper like all the way through twice. Not ashamed to admit it. We've been slowly collecting the books as we can. I'm like, I refuse to pay full price for books. Last night we found a few actually. So we found book number five from the series, the graphic novel series. For those of you who don't know, like get on board because it is literally so freaking cute. Got volume five. We have one and two, which Zane has already read. I'm waiting till I have a few more because I'll blow through them. So we need to find three, four today, hopefully. And then we also found the novella, Nick and Charlie, which apparently takes place, I think a little bit later in the storyline. It's missing the dust jacket, but for $7.64, like it's just gonna sit on my bookshelf once I'm done. So cute vibes. And for those of you who've watched the show and are familiar with all the characters, Charlie's sister, who is like a whole vibe in and of herself, which I'm super excited. Season three seems to be her season. Well, she has her own novella and I'm super excited to dive into that and read it. And yeah, I'm 35 and I read graphic novels. <laughs> Not sad, is it? A little bit. You, you can you can be honest. It's a little sad. It's a little sad, but I love Heartstoppers, so I'm not ashamed. Today we need to switch bags, and I have been in my Celine boogie for the past week or so. I took this out to lunch last weekend. Gosh, it's been a long week. Last weekend we met up with Jamie from Lux Petite in the city. We had lunch at Lou Colonial. Popped into Celine, Fendi, Saks Fifth Avenue, did a little browsing, a little luxury browsing, if you will. But no, this Celine bag is a total vibe, and I will be dropping a Celine Boogie review tomorrow for you guys, because seriously, this bag, it is insane that people have slept on it for so long. Like this, this has, this has revival status written all over it. Like I could see this becoming the next big vintage bag to collect. Move over Balenciaga City, we're done with you. It's the Celine Boogie. But this doesn't really go with the vibe today. I mean, like it kind of does because the Celine Boogie is timeless. So I want to switch into something else. I think you can probably already see it peeking out here. But I just thought that my Hermes Birkin 35 box leather palladium hardware, Vert Francais, would look better with this outfit. I mean, hello. It looks good with every outfit, but I thought this would be the vibe today. And it's nice and sunny here in Chicago land, which it hasn't been in quite some time. It's like sunny, decently warm, like not totally like negative five, like it had been. So perfect timing to take out my Birkin and we're just gonna have a fun day. What are we doing today? We're gonna go to Niles, Illinois. I have been saying Niles, Michigan all weekend long. So the fact that I just said Niles, Illinois, I, I'm already making progress. So we are gonna go and see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Apparently there's like a full-size mock-up there in the town. So we're gonna go check that out. Apparently Niles, apparently, Niles has book three or four of the Heartstopper series. So we need to go and get that. I'd rather drive like several villages over and take an entire afternoon than pay an extra five bucks to just buy it new at Target. And so what I said, save space. <laughs> and uh, I think we're gonna stop at Stan's Donuts because Hello, why not? <laughs> so let's switch bags, get this day started. I am so ready to have a fun day before we get back to the grind tomorrow already. And I need to film a couple of videos tonight for the week ahead. So it's gonna be a busy day, but it's gonna be fun. So let's get into it. I just have to say that it still blows my mind 
after literally wanting one of these for decades that I finally have it. I mean, it was a lot of hard work, scrimping, saving, and I made it happen. Like it's, I love this bag. Pookie, I just have to say you are looking absolutely far. <laughs> okay, so today we just have on a Target hat, polo shirt, and sweater. Idle diamonds, if you can see them. ASOS coat, Levi's, old Reeboks, old Birkin. Old Birkin. Zane, what do you have on? Pookie. Pookie has coach on. Coach. Target, and what are these called? So these are from Super Glamorous. They're actually handmade in Italy. I have a couple pairs of their loafers. I bought these for Zane for my birthday, six dude. years ago. Six? Mm-hmm. It's my first time wearing them? Yeah. Pookie takes her time. Pookie takes her time. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we literally got out to the garage. I'm like, oh, shoot, we didn't do an OOTD. The vlog <laughs> will be useless. So we ran back in. Now we're going to run back out and go have some fun. Yeah. And real talk, you don't come out to this neighborhood and not eat a Sarku. Like, come on. <laughs> Super good, actually. That mall is just so dead. Is my hat? Oh, okay. It's like, is it staying? No, it's just the, the quarter right. Now we're gonna head over to Niles. We just had lunch at Sarku here at Golf Mill Mall. And we're gonna go see this like Leaning Tower of Pisa situation. from the Leaning Tower of Niles. So this was apparently built in 1932, completed in 1934. It's only a couple, it's like half the size of the real one, which we've been to. Um, but the lean on this feels really dramatic. Like it is, and that's a little intense, you have to admit. Anyway, it's super cool to see. <laughs> Therapy, cause I don't give a no, don't give it up. It feels so far away, is this the end of me? Letting go is how I finally see yeah. I don't really understand This was never about other plans Maybe I just should run away Yeah, I really wanna stay But everything's got me breaking No, I don't wanna waste my time again Are you excited that we came to see the Leaning Tower of Niles? Thrilled? Thrilled? Okay, so apparently Niles and Pisa are sister cities. Who knew? So now that explains the random Leaning Tower of Niles out here in the middle of nowhere. Now, for those of you wondering where the Leaning Tower of Niles is located, it is conveniently next to the Aldi and the Target. You can't miss it. Super cute. <laughs> so here's a new half price for us. We haven't been to this one yet, and it's located next to a giant dicks. <laughs> We just finished our half price. I found volumes three and four. I don't know what that is. Three and four of Heartstoppers. Now we have one through five, so I'm gonna start reading the series now. We also found Gorillas in the Mist. Mm, Factory hours. sealed collector's edition, like hands down. Seriously, guys, the Niles. Am I still in Niles or am I in Skokie? This is Niles. Because I know like two minutes. This is Skokie. Niles. Apparently, we're in Niles. Um, this is the best hands down half price we found since we've come up here. Mm -hmm. See, it's pretty comparable to the one in Indianapolis on 82nd Street. Yes. Which is... Has a similar mint. layout, yeah. 
Um, no, really good, a lot of stuff. We're gonna go buy an energy drink because I need to film a couple of videos and I need some I thought we were going to Stan's Energy. Next. Oh, yeah, we're going to go to Stan's. Oops. Here's your coffee. Here's your coffee, Angie. Well, I'm going to still have really want to stay, but everything's got me breaking. No, I don't want to waste my time again. I've been by myself. The stands was not a real stands, it was just a stands inside of a Mariano's, which had no place to sit. But we did get half a dozen to bring home, which I'm super jazzed about. We got four pistachios and two, I don't know my numbers today, two um, strawberry glazed, which are always good. Anyway, I think we're gonna take a, like, a nap, like a little like chill moment, and then get back to work. Myself. Yeah. All right, so we took a nap that was literally so good. We're gonna have to run to the store and get like some sleep aid. I'm a little embarrassed, but uh, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Just cause like short, chill, sweet vibes. Yeah, I guess I will see you all tomorrow morning. Until then, stay safe, have fun. Bye-bye.